What's going on guys? My name is Brian, also known as That Journaling Guy, and today we have a pretty cool video. At least I think so, because this is kind of what I spend most of my YouTube time doing. Like, I'm just fascinated by the spaces that people create in. So today, I'm going to give you a little desk tour and a little craft station tour. So I've been wanting to make a video like this for a long time, but I never felt like I had a cool enough setup to really make a video on and show. But I feel like I do now. <laughs> I feel like I have a pretty decent setup. It's not like the ultimate setup, so don't expect that. But it's it works for me. And I really wanted to document this setup now because in the coming months, it's going to change again. And hopefully I'm going to upgrade a big portion of this room and this desk setup. So I really wanted to show the before and after. But I also want to show the evolution of what this has become and what it was like a big thing that I want to stress out. And when you're when you're looking at these videos is like I didn't buy all this stuff and acquire all this stuff in one day. Like it takes time. It's it's taken me probably around three years to really make this what it is and i'm finally happy like i'm finally in a place where i feel i have the comforts and the ability and the equipment i need to make any video that can come to my mind so i'm really proud of this like i'm really happy with with my workspace and i really want to share that with you guys so without uh spieling too much here's my desk tour This is what my desk used to look like. Then this was the second progression of how my desk looked like. And now we have the final boss. This is how my desk looks like now. So I literally had like my monitor set up on a little speaker box that I had and that was my monitor riser. I was using my MacBook before and I would just connect it via HDMI. And that's, that was my computer setup for a really long time. That's how I learned my editing. That's how I learned, you know, my graphic, uh, my motion graphic design. Like that, that's, that was my little humble setup that I've learned so much on. It was just one monitor, my MacBook, and maybe an external keyboard. And that was it. And I had that for like a good year, even when I was recording videos and editing vlogs and stuff like that, that was what I used. So when I built my PC, I, I was so excited. You have no idea. I never grew up with a PC. So or like I never grew up with an actual PC, like a desktop PC. So this was really, really cool for me. All right. So that's that was a little uh, a little preview of what I have here. Now I kind of want to go over everything and, and get a little bit into the details of what it is. So really, I have an L desk that I got from Facebook Marketplace for like, I think it was like $100. But I really, really wanted an L desk for the longest time because I just felt that this would be the best setup for me to be able to record the type of content that I record, right? So it's divided into my craft space and then my computer. I built my own computer. So I am using a uh, Ryzen 7 AMD motherboard with a Corsair case, I'm using, running 32 gigabytes of RAM and a four terabyte black hard drive, Western digital black hard drive with a one terabyte SSD Samsung Evo. That is my computer specs, not a lot of you will care. I also wanna like mention the equipment that I use to make these videos 
because you might have some questions on how I do certain things or what I use to do certain things. So let's start with the camera equipment actually. So the camera that I'm using to record this right now is a Sony a7 III with a 24 millimeter f 1.4 G master lens. This is my full frame DSLR that I use to record my A roll and the shallow depth of field is a 24 millimeter G master lens, which I love and mind you, it is kind of expensive, but like I said, it take it's taken a little bit to get here. I monitor myself because if you know anything about the Sony series, the full frame barely had any flip out screens until maybe the S3. I use the Fuel World 4K monitor to record and monitor myself while I'm talking to you guys. So that was a pretty cool gift. I have it on a newer gimbal or I have it on a newer tr fluid tripod head so that I can move it around. And I'm using the switch pod as the tripod for my desk. So it's not too tall and you guys are about eye level with me. To record my audio, I use the Rode NTG shotgun mic. Um, it's actually one of my first shotgun mics ever. Before this, I used to use the Rode Video Micro which was also a phenomenal little uh, microphone for the price, you know. But this is my upgraded version. This is what I use to record all of the audio that you hear. Now for my top down shots, I am now using an A6600 with a 16 to 55 millimeter F4 lens, F3.5 to 5.6. Now, this was really important for me because what was happening with the videos before while I was making them was that I was using my Canon N50 to record the top down and then the Sony to record my A roll. And what would happen is that the color profiles wouldn't match and it would look all wonky. So that was irritating me. And I decided that I needed a good vlog camera and I needed a good top down camera. So I invested in the Sony A6600. So that is with my top down setup, which I'm just using a regular like boom arm that you can buy on Amazon. I, I'm pretty sure it's just the Amazon brand of boom arm with a newer tripod head. Because I also like to make sure that all of my cameras have a uh, Arca Swiss plates so that I can keep like taking them on and off a lot easier than having to unscrew it all the time. So I, I even have like peak design clips on my backpacks so I can carry my cameras and my tripods and it's just easy to switch the cameras on and off from where they are. So now when I'm also recording videos, I also have like a B cam that I use and that's my Canon M50 and I record um, the audio using my Rode Video Micro. And so technically I have three cameras around my desk that I use pretty much all the time to record the content that you guys see. So I use an Audio-Technica AT2020 as my XLR mic that plugs into the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2. And that is the sound that you guys hear when I'm doing voiceovers or whenever I'm streaming, that is the microphone I use. Now the coolest thing that I like about this setup that I've done here is I've been able to hide the microphone behind my third monitor. So I can actually pull out the monitor, take out the microphone. If I'm gaming, it comes out or if I'm recording the video, but when I'm not gaming and I'm not using it, I can actually hide it behind the monitor and it's just out of the way and it's out of view. And I think it's one of the coolest little things that I've done with this. I have three HP monitors, 24 EA. Um, they're just 1080p, 60 hertz displays, but I wanted to make sure that I had the same displays all around because I wanted matching monitors. That was pretty important for me. So I have them mounted, so I, they're not like sitting on the monitor riser. I like having that space for other things. Now for the lighting, I'm using two Elgato lights and then like a target lamp that I use for my room lighting, which is the, the main lamp, like the main, main light that you see in front of me. Then you see the Elgato in the back is a fill light. And then you see the key, the other key light. So the two Elgato lights that I'm using, I'm using the key light air and the regular key light. Like I said, I've bought them at separate times. So I didn't match them, but some were on sales. Sometimes they weren't, but they are phenomenal. You can control the, like the, you control how warm or how cold the lighting is. You control the brightness. It is phenomenal. And they, they just fit so well on as like desk clamps or you can use like mount them on stands. They're awesome. So if you're ever looking for good lighting and you want to invest in lighting, I do recommend 
one of these panels because they're pretty, pretty awesome. On my desk, you will also find the Stream Deck. The Stream Deck is like a little macro controller that I use for streaming and that I use in general for editing. And having a macro controller just has sped up my workflow enormously. It's been amazing to use and I use it as shortcuts for my computer on every day. But having a Stream Deck has been a really, really beneficial as a videographer and photographer to like set those macros. So that's one of my like coolest little gadgets that I have on my desk. Now that we've talked about all the technical stuff let's get into my craft space so i'm really proud of this craft space because what you're seeing right now are just like amazon organizers they're like little plastic organizers that you can find but i really wanted to make it a point that i have my supplies like in view and at like at a hand's reach at all times because what was happening is that i was starting to like collect a fuck ton of stationery but i wasn't using it because they were stored away in a drawer so what i did is i bought the organizers i set it up on my desk and i took all the most important stationery or even some of the stationery that i had never used and i put it on my desk so if i ever wanted to experiment if i ever wanted to try something new i would have that at a hand's reach i'm a firm believer in the saying of like out of sight out of mind with everything if it's not in sight you're gonna forget about it if you haven't written it down you're gonna forget about it so since i have it in like my vision and it's in my workspace i have access to all these tools it's really allowed me to experiment with my bullet journal it's allowed me to experiment with my art it's allowed me to experiment with with the stream it's really cool and i'm really just proud of the the stationary setup and how it looks um but hopefully this expands into a way bigger desk you know but i have the washies that i always have in current rotation are using the 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 washi tape dispenser i have my pastels my grid my travel because i use that in my traveler's journal the journals that i always am using are in current rotation for everyday use always sit to the left of my craft station i have my fountain pens on display using a roll case because I want to have access to them at all times. Sometimes I like the feeling of this pen, so I'll take it out and I'll use that. But I really like having it open like this and not like stored away in like a box or something because I'm more inclined to use them. Same with my inks. If I have my inks at hand's reach, I might give it a try here. I might give it a try there. You know, you know, a little bit about the art. Um, I have three little Pokemon pieces that were drawn for me by my girlfriend and I just, keep them up there because I think they were so well done. It's a Gengar, a little avocado with a with a Pokeball in the middle and then Gyarados because I really like those Pokemon. But also on display there, I have the Hidden Fates EV set um, without the actual like Hidden Fates EV. I just have the Evolutions. but I'm really proud of it because it took forever to collect that. And when I was collecting Pokemon cards, I don't know how many packs of Pokemon I opened. It was so, so many um, to get those cards. So I'm really proud of it. Hopefully I can get them graded one day, but I just have them on display there and I, I just, they're just so much fun to look at. Another really cool little thing that I like about my desk and how I've set it up is that I actually have like a whiteboard vinyl as the actual desk at the bottom. So what's that, that, what that has allowed me to do is kind of do like explainer videos when I'm streaming or it's, it's allowed me to write down and jot down ideas and really develop develop them in a non-permanent place. But I think having a whiteboard at your disposal is so beneficial. It is so awesome. And I highly, highly recommend it. And when I'm, it's not in use, I just put the cutting mat above it. I just do my regular journaling stuff. If I want to make a video that uses that, take it off. Boom, thought, done. It is really, really cool. And it's one of my favorite parts of this deck. I'm really proud of where I am right now with this setup and how everything looks. Little by little, you know, things will change. But this i change my room really often okay like i really do i change my room maybe like once every six months or something like that i like changing the bed i like changing the tv like this, if you look at this background from what it was you know a couple videos ago it's different and it'll keep changing so i really want to take you guys through that transformation till eventually i get like my ultimate craft room studio space okay like that's the goal that is the goal but I hope you liked and enjoyed this little desk tour craft space setup. 
So if you have any questions, definitely let me know down in the comments. I'm more than happy to share with you the equipment I use and my setup. So don't hesitate to ask any questions down below. So yeah, that was today's video. Um, hopefully we can look back at this in like a year and come back and see how things have changed. Uh, but yeah, so don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you enjoyed this video. Also, we just launched a Discord channel. So if you have Discord and you want to be part of a really fun little stationary community that we're building over on Twitch, the Discord link will be down below. It's a place where you can promote your stuff, talk with fellow stationary enthusiasts. We talk about K-pop. We talk about anime there's little introduction sections any and every announcement that i will be making about my brand in general will be on discord so make sure to join and hang out and talk to people make some friends i promise it, it, it's fun it's like a really cool place to be you can also follow me on instagram where i post a lot of my personal spreads and why i do certain things a lot of bullet journal content is posted there so if you want to go follow me at that journaling guy that would be really cool i'd really appreciate that so this is the end of today's video i hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for hanging out with me thank you so much for watching this video and i will catch you in the next one peace <laughs>